Welcome back to Keep On Creating. I'm Mike, and this is my t-shirt printers. And this chair feels a little bit low. That's better. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button over here and ding the bell so you know when a fresh episode comes in. And if you've already done all that, Thank you. So today you may be wondering what that is over there. Well, that was my birthday cake. I was planning on having it full size, but I ate it. It used to look like this though, and it was awesome. But I can guarantee you it was a bit of a traumatic experience cutting up Baby Yoda. It was. But today we're gonna to be doing some more cool text effects in Affinity Designer. We're gonna be taking this font here and making something really cool out of it. So with that, all of that said, Let's jump right in. Let's get a new artboard up here. So we're gonna head up to Affinity Designer, go across to File, drop down to New, and we present with all our options for our page. I'm just gonna leave this on A4 and Landscape's cool. And I'm just gonna click Create and get our nice white artboard going here. Next thing I need to do is get our font tool up. So I'm gonna hit T or you can head over here to your artistic text tool and just click anywhere on your page. And let's just type in something pretty simple. So we're gonna go C R E. Eight, so create and on these little blue nodes here I'm just gonna click and drag it and make it nice and big so we can see what we're working with okay so I'm triple select that now the font I'm gonna be needing is something distressed grindy you know half tony or messed up like destroyed so I am gonna go for for this font here. Okay, so the font I'm using, I will leave a link in the description below. If you wanna do this affinity design tutorial with the exact same font and try to get the same results, links down below, go ahead and check it out. And this font gives me a few different options. So you can see that's option one. That's a simple version. I think I actually kinda of like that one or the half tone one. Mm, let's, go, let's go to the half tone one, it's got more to it. It's gonna be fun. Fun and more work. Okay, so with our font selected like this, you can see it's still a font up here, so we need to convert that to outline. So if you follow me a lot, just gonna go Command Enter, or you're gonna hit up here to Layer, and you're gonna drop down to Convert to Curves, and you can see now it's a curve. We need to ungroup this to get it all in this individual letters, because you see the individual letters are still stuck in this group. So let's just ungroup that. Just gonna go right-click and ungroup. So you can see they're all ungrouped there. Now what I wanna do is take my E and my A, take those two letters and stick them underneath my C and my R. So just line it there. So let's just drag this a little bit. I'm just gonna drag it slightly off to the side here because we need to work in this little area over here. So yeah, let's keep it over there. Let's just drag. It's gonna move this E slightly so it just becomes nicely underneath that C. Likewise for that one, just tap it in there. So what I'm trying to do here is make sure that the letters line up vertically, like over here and over here, and horizontally, just, it's a design thing. Now what I wanna do is draw some lines that we're gonna be using in here. So to draw some lines you can use, let's just use our marquee rectangle tool. So I'm just gonna go over here, and you see I'm selecting my rectangle tool. I'm just gonna draw a rectangle, just say about so wide, yeah, let's say about there. See it's gray at the moment, I need to change this across to a black so in my swatches over here you can see it is a gray so I'm gonna take that gray out by clicking this little no fill over here I'm just gonna flip those around let's actually make this a color so I'm gonna head here to my swatches drop down to colors and click on let's just make it red so we can see it okay I'm zooming in zooming into this area here so just get the spacebar command and just zoom straight in there now with my rectangle selected I'm gonna hold on alt and shift and just click and drag and make that white space about the same width as my red line just click and drag to about there it's gonna release it now I'm not gonna deselect or anything you can see it's still selected I'm gonna hit just hit command J and just hit that a few times you can see it gives me quite a few lines there and that's what I'm looking for Maybe not so many. I can probably take that down to about there. I think, yeah, that's cool. Okay, now I want to select all the lines I've just drawn. So you can see I've selected all those lines. I'm going to hit up, hit up here, okay, and click Add. You can see they all disappear from our layers palette. So you can see rectangle to infinity, rectangle, 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 rectangle. I'm just going to hit that once. You can see it becomes a one curve there. So that's one graphic. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold down Alt, I'm going to click this and I'm going to just drag it over to this area where we're going to work. So I'm going to zoom in a bit over here and let's divide up this C to begin with. So I'm going to go over this corner here and you can see how I get those little arrows there and I can now rotate it. So I'm just going to rotate it and I'm going to try and intersect this just on those two parts of the C over there. I can see we're probably going to be doing, just going to eyeball my graphic here 
I'm going to probably be doing more or less the same with this eight down here. So for now, I'm going to hold down Alt and I'm going to click and drag this down here. I want that same angle down there. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that over there. But we'll concentrate on the C first. So what I first need to do is select our C over here. I'm just going to copy that. So Command C and then go Command V. And you can see it gives us another layer of it in, in our layers palette. You can click and drag over here. Uh, to just your quickies just make this roll through a lot quicker. So you can see basically where this last one comes in here. I want this section of my C over here. So this section here just to remain solid. So I'm gonna get my pen tool up, which is P, okay? And I am going to just start over here, click there, click inside that red bit, down all the way over here, and then just close my object off like that. I'm gonna make this blue so we know that that's that area that we're dealing with, okay? Let's get my move tool. And I'm going to select this, my first C. So this first C over here, I'm going to hold down my command key and click on that. Just makes it easier than trying to go in here and selecting it. So just hold command key and click on that layer. Now I'm going to head on up here to my, uh, my pathfinder, I guess we call it, and I'm going to click on this intersect button. And you can see what it's done. If we have just been left with uh, that section of our C, we'll come back and punch all those out in a second. Okay, just make it, we'll make this blue again. So we know that bit's done. Now like I was how we punched this bit out here, I'm gonna select our lines. I'm gonna select our other part of our C, so this part of our C here, and holding command to click on that so you can see I've got the C and our lines, and I'm gonna head on up here to my intersect button and click on that. Now all we're left with is our lines where they were and these tiny little distress bits coming through here. So if I click on that, it still looks pretty cool with those distress bits, but if I just zoom in here, you can see all these other little bits are kind of meant to be punched through, but they're not. So to do that, what we need to do is click on this divide option up here. So if I click on divide, and you can see it gives us divides all these curves up. So you can see all these curves, 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 curves. So you can see it goes a bit crazy. So all I need to do now is basically deselect our solid areas. I want to leave these distress bits. So to deselect those solid areas, just hold down shift and go ahead and deselect all the solid areas. So I'm going to start over here, holding shift. It's going to click through all these areas. Like so, okay. Now all I'm left with is our distress bit. So you can see those are the distress bit there. Okay, I'm just click on add to add them all together. Let's make it a different color so we can actually see what we're doing. So that's those bits there, cool. Likewise for this bit over here, I'm just gonna click on this divide section. So click on divide and deselect our big areas. So I'm just gonna hold down shift, deselect that part and this part over here. Click on the add button. Okay, make it orange so we know that that's the distress bit that we're talking about. So what I want to do is with our two distress bits, so we've got this top distress bit and this bottom distress, distress, blah, blah, distress bit, I'm going to unite them together. So I'm going to click on this add so they become one big distress bit. And now that makes it really easy for us to just click and drag a whole marquee over this entire area like that. Okay, and we can just deselect our distress bit up here. So I can see my little orange bits in there. Just hold down command and click on that so it deselects it. Then you can click on add and it adds all those bits together. Now I can shift select or command select this layer over here and just hit this minus through and you can see it's made it nice and distressed. It's kept our distressed bits in that section there and now that's one item. So that's our C done. Let's concentrate on this eight bit down here. Okay, so similar, exactly the same as what we did with the C. We're gonna start off by getting our pen tool and just drawing a nice block within this area over here. Just gonna make sure that we miss that section over there okay let's make it this blue color okay make a duplicate of our eight so i'm just going to go command c command v see if we made a duplicate of that okay i'm just going to get my move tool and let's just punch through so we're going to select that one and our number eight and we're just going to select intersect again okay let's just make this blue so we know that's done and likewise for the section down here, hold down shift while selecting your two areas. It's easier just to select this and let's just select that eight over there with our command and go to our intersect section. Okay, so click on that. Cool. Now we're going to select both of those and I'm just going to go and hit our divide. So I'm going to divide them up and just deselect our big areas. So deselect this part, just deselect these bits over here, 
Let's, you know, we're going to have to deselect that and deselect that. And these sections here, here, oh no. Just leaving the distress bit. So I'm just holding shift while going through all these sections that we basically don't want to deal with at this point in time. Okay, so if I just take that, I'm not too sure about that line over there. Just deselect them at the moment. So all we're left with is this little distress bit. Hit our add button and let's just make it, once it's done, let's just make it this orange color so we can actually see it again as I keep on saying. And now we can go through and just drag that marquee over everything, okay? Just find our orange bits, which is this bit over here. Hold down command, deselect our orange bits, hit that add, okay? Now I'm just gonna make sure our distress bits are sitting above our graphics and so just click and drag it above. Hold down shift, select them both, and just click on the subtract bit, and there's our distress bit over there. And it's starting to really come together. Cool. Now let's just work on the R and the E. So I'm going to hold down Alt, click and drag this bit over here. I'm going to drag it right to, right to there. Okay, let's just move this into frame a little bit. Get my pen tool up so you can see this is just repeating stage after stage after stage. And it's going to close that off and make it blue so we can see it. Okay, we've got to repeat. We've got to copy our R, paste our R to make another duplicate of it. Get our block, select our first bit of the R, so that R there. Now we're going to intersect it, okay. Let's just make it blue again so we know that's done. Select our lines, select our second R over here. We're gonna intersect that part again, okay. Select them both and we're gonna click on this divide and then just go ahead, hold down your shift and just go ahead and deselect all the bits that we don't want to be caught up in the distress bit. So it's going to deselect all these bits here, 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 here. That's it. And down here. I think that should be about it. Just click and drag. Yeah, cool. And we're going to hit this add function. Okay, make it orange so we know that that's our distress bits. Drag that marquee over everything. Deselect our orange bits or our distress bits. Add the, add the rest of the bits together. Make sure our distress bits are sitting over our graphic, okay? Select both parts of your graphic and then just go minus and then we're left with that bit there. So the last little bit is this E bit. So just click and drag. We might as well just drag a copy in case things go wrong. So holding Alt while dragging. Rotate this. I'm gonna rotate this completely 90 degrees this way. Now I want this in this section over here. So I'm gonna make it just about there. Yeah, just about there-ish. So I'm actually gonna bring it, let's bring it to there because I actually don't want that section up there. So I just want these little lines over here. I don't want these lines up this area here. So I'm gonna hit A, okay, get my node tool up, click and drag a big selection of all those nodes over there. Okay, and I'm gonna hit backspace and just delete them because all I want is this little area over here. So this is gonna be a double up of what we've just done. So I'm gonna hit P and I'm gonna go click here, 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 here with my pen tool, just close that off. Draw, just make the blue so we know that's bit's done. Draw another section of that down here. Okay, so I'm just gonna block that area off there. Cool, make it blue so we know those bits are done. Now we're gonna make a copy of our E, so I'm going to go Command C, Command V. You can see I've got my two E's going there. I'm going to make select both of these graphics here and make them one unit. Just if you do it with a single, you'll end up with problems. So make sure your two graphics are one graphic now, and select my E over here. And now I'm going to intersect them. Okay, so I've got that bit there. Just make that one graphic. Select my lines, select the remaining E. Okay, so I got my E and my lines, intersect those guys. Okay, that's intersect those guys. And now select everything again and divide them up. So we're left with just our big blocks of color and then just go ahead and make those big blocks of color. You can make them, we can do the opposite way around this time. So I'm just gonna go select my big blocks of color and just make sure they're all selected there. Cool, and make them one graphic gonna drag that, oh, let's just grab that little bit over there and then join that in, okay? I'm just gonna drag a marquee over everything there, deselect my big graphic bit, make sure to 
Make sure to just add them all together as one graphic. Then get all our distress bits, just put them up there, just make them that orange color. So you can see all the distress bits are there. And make sure we select both those layers and just punch it through. And you can see we've punched everything through there. So we've got that CRE8 create. So with that, I'm happy with how that looks. So we can take away those lines at the moment, just, just bring this back into the page. Now that looks pretty cool. So as everything looks good on white, let's put it on black. So to make a new layer, drag it all the way down to the bottom. Okay, just get my rectangle tool up and let's just draw a big rectangle behind this. Just make it black so we can hide everything there. Select all our layers, make them white. That looks sweet, just nice and simple. It doesn't it look, it looks really cool. Now, if you want to add some color into these sections that we've um, basically lined up, I can get my pen tool and I can just draw in here. Okay, just for now, we can just draw in there. Likewise for here, just draw that bit there. Okay, cool. Let's just make these colors. Let's just put the, let's make them blue and just carry on drawing in these little bits here. And the last section is our E. Okay, just select all those curves you've just done, make them all blue so we can see them. Now what we can do is to get them inside those sections, it actually looks pretty funky as it is. <laughs> what we can do, we can select this and this is our R, so I can just drag this into my R down here and you can see it hides it in there. Same with the C, I can click and drag that curve into my C, so you can see where I'm dragging it, so it's basically masking it in. With my E, I do the same, click and drag it in there. And my eight, I can just click and drag it in there. Oh, doesn't that look cool? So I'm pretty happy how that turned out. Now on a white shirt, that would be a two color print because you could print the black and the blue just two colors if it was on a black shirt you would have to put the white down twice and then print the blue so it would technically be a three color shirt which color do you prefer the white one or the black one let me know in the comments below it'd be great to know just for interest sake I had this one printed in white. Cool, huh? So that brings us to the end of another episode. Don't forget to follow us on our social channels all linked up here mysteriously below. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out of here.